Let's start with this Five on Your Side exclusive. Moments ago, we sat down with the attorney who's representing the family of St. Louis County's coronavirus patient. The lawyer says his client wants to clear up what he calls misconceptions about how the family acted. Five on Your Side's Morgan Young is live in Clayton with the exclusive information. Morgan? Well, Mike and Kay, initially we were going to speak to the father of the patient over the phone, but we were later told the family is just too emotional at this time. And their biggest issue is with this idea that they broke some kind of mandated self-quarantine when the father and the sister's patient went to Village Ushin's father-daughter dance. And when the sister actually went to school last Thursday and Friday, they said they could not have broken a self-quarantine order because they never received a self-quarantine order. The family says that they made the decision on their own to self-quarantine their daughter and that the only person who had contact with her was her mother. They said they were never told to self-quarantine, not when she called the county's coronavirus hotline, and actually not even the day that she was told that she was positive. They said that every measure that they took to keep themselves safe was the decision that they made on their own. Now, a question I did have for them is that if they knew that there was a chance that their daughter could have the coronavirus, why send her sister to school? Why go to the dance? The family attorney says they just didn't have the information. Here's what he had to say. They weren't just ignoring this. This is something they were paying close attention to. But the information they were being given was very, very limited and, and frankly, very, very incomplete. So if we wanted this behavior, we should say, this is what we expect you to do. We're the medical professionals. We, we're, we're telling you this is what you're supposed to do. How and they, that never happened. It's also important to know that the family's attorney had a list of phone calls and text messages saying that the family reached out to the county multiple times and was initially told that the state did not want to test their daughter because her symptoms weren't that strong, but that the county was going to fight for it. They said when they initially went to Mercy, a doctor said that they did not believe that their daughter had the condition. Now, this is important because this directly contradicts what we heard from County Executive Sam Page yesterday, who said that the family was made aware on March 5th that they were to self-quarantine. Even now, the family attorney is saying that they have never been told that they had to self-quarantine until yesterday on March 8th. They said that they received the letter from the county and that they are going to comply with that, but said before March 8th, they were never told that they had to self-quarantine, which again is very different from the information that we got from the county. Morgan, thank you.